Today I was on a walk and I was thinking about this whole shame thing that I was talking about yesterday. And it dawned on me that the shame is actually more profound than what I was uh, previously referring to. Yes, we feel it particularly when we feel like we're victimized. But I think it's more generally felt just because we're human. I remember watching uh, a lecture from Abraham Hicks at one point. In fact, I've seen a few of her videos, um, a few of her lectures in which she talks about this sense of unworthiness that all humans seem to feel and that it's a big problem for them and it prevents them from actually achieving success in their own lives. Whatever it is that they deem successful for themselves, they block themselves because of this underlying feeling of unworthiness. Well, I took it a step further when I was on my walk today just thinking about this because the unworthiness feeling, that feeling that we're not quite good enough, is associated with, with our shame, that we feel this underlying sense of shame. And it's probably the shame of being human, being frail, knowing that we're mortals, that we are going to die at some point, that our bodies fail us from time to time, that we get sick, that it doesn't take much to cause us to fall down, to break us, to kill us. We aren't that strong when we think about, you know, all the different things in this world that could take us down. <laughs> We're um, born, and every day that we live, we're just that much closer to our final demise. And it's something that we live with every day. And we have this underlying sense of fear of this finality that we're going to die someday. And it seems like there's this sense of shame associated with our humanity, with our inability to live forever. And no matter what we do, no matter how much money we make, no matter how advanced our technology is, no matter how creative we are, no matter how many family members we have or lovers we meet, no matter how influential we are, how many places we've visited in the world, what we have accomplished, or how many toys we have, we still have this sense of shame. This underlying sense that we're not quite good enough. Because if we were, wouldn't we live forever? Wouldn't we be able to be struck down heal immediately, and then get back up. But that's not what happens to us. When we get struck down, we get sick and often die. And we take up measures and means of self-protection we have cybersecurity to prevent us from getting viruses on our computers. We have guns to keep us from being, to help us feel safe from wild animals or from wild people. We have homes with doors with locks on them and security systems and cameras to make sure that we don't get violated in our homes, in our, in our privacy. We do all types of things. Companies have electric locks and 
uh, ways to prevent people from stealing from them, even their own employees. <laughs> so we put all these security and safety measures in place because underneath it all, we feel pretty fucking insecure. All of us. Why? Because we know we're vulnerable. But instead of accepting the vulnerability, instead of capitalizing on that vulnerability and allowing it to be and using it to our advantage in order to build relationships with other vulnerable people, we try to protect ourselves from each other and try to put body armor on or an emotional armor on to avoid the pain of loss, to avoid the pain of shame, to avoid our own vulnerability. Let's go into that vulnerability. Let's go into that shame. Let's feel it. And let's allow it to be and let go of the shame. Let go of this negative association of vulnerability with that shame. And just allow ourselves to be human. Allow ourselves to be real, authentic human beings with each other, knowing that we're going to die, knowing that we may not live past tonight, and that we may wake up dead tomorrow. <laughs> not wake up at all. And allowing that to be. Allowing that to be the future. The allowing, allowing ourselves to, to, to dem have a demise, a respectful death. And just to let that be. And that's not to say that in reality that I'm going to die tomorrow or that you're going to die tomorrow. But by being willing to accept that, by embracing our own death, by embracing our own weakness, our humanity, and realizing that all of us share in that, that we aren't going to live forever. And there's no shame in that. It's okay. And accepting that this body is not necessarily a permanent home. And it's going to get old and die. And that whatever life there is within this body will likely transition to something else. And so we can just live in the moment now and enjoy it without the shame, without that unworthiness feeling. And in that, enjoy life. Just enjoy the moment. Because that's all we have is right now. That's my thought for today. Ciao.